in the course of this program is what S-E-R-V-I-C-E and E-X-C-E-L-L-E-N-C-E means. What I'm asking you to do is to just tell me what S-E-R-V-I-C-E means. If you can send that to businessclinic at philadelphia.org. Okay, you've got it on your, on your, on your, on your TV screens, businessclinic at philadelphia.org. The first person to send this to me every week until we finish this program will win a book. All right? So once you send it, we will notify you, and then we will arrange for you to come and pick it up. Um, or we can try and send it to one of the, some of the uh, stations closest to you. So, um, you know, I want to say, well, well, it's the 17 Secrets of High Flying Students. It's a book that I wrote. Um, several other books are coming out this year, but this is a, an incredible book. Um, and particularly at this time when we are talking so much about saving Nigeria's education, this was a book that was written um, in line with reviving academic excellence in our schools and educational institutions. It's my own little way of making a difference for my nation. All right. So here, we're back to business, okay? Remember, um, the whole concept of, of excellent service is more than just whether you like to do it or not. It's not a nice to do. It's a need to do. Um, because essentially, the quality of service will determine how far how many customers enjoy coming to you and how much they would like to do business with you. Um, so, generally speaking, the difference between a successful business and a hugely successful business is that most successful business know how to get customers to come, but a hugely successful business know how to get customers to want to stay. So, it's not about the customers coming to you, it's about the customers staying with you. Remember this to be different. It's not about the customers coming to you, it's about the customers staying with you. So, therefore, if you want to get the customer to be able to stay with you and build what you call customer loyalty, then what you have to do is to make sure that they have an incredible experience every time that they come to you. Um, every time they remember your name, they want to have an experience. Remember, there are many people that are, that are serving your customer with the same kind of things that you are serving them with. In fact, some of them are abroad. I, I always say to people, many of the people that you see that, that spend the most on clothes, most of them wait until they travel abroad to buy it, which means that they are, their customers are not even on the same street with them. Their customers could be on Oxford Street, could be on 54th Street in New York, could be on anywhere else. You know, so the point that I'm making here is you can't just be local in your thinking as to the kind of service that you offer because your customer is, um, your competitor is on Oxford Street and they are thinking at a different level. So you've got to take your mind to another level, which is what the whole service excellence model is all about. I'm not going to tell you what service is today because I've already put a price on it, all right? Okay. So, today we're dealing with excellence, and we started last week with E, and today we're dealing X. X is for the extra mile. Understand what I'm saying. Um, there's this saying that I love so much. It says, there is no traffic on the extra mile. Okay? Um, the, 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 everybody, every customer has an expectation of what they would like your, the, you know, to, to be able to get from your business. They, most times, uh, they, I told you, there the was the expectations of the customer. Um, the expectations of things from what you call explicit things that you need to do, and then they can find a big company in front of them. For instance, you know, you know, you know, you start to do it, but you don't necessarily say, I will feed you, I will serve you with a full company, for those that I know, so you will serve you for a full place. You don't have to expect it. That's an entire thing. For you to do your business and say, you must know that the things you can do. Now, when the customers don't get their implicit terms, and as well as their specific terms, they get very disappointed. And this is what the point is. On the other hand, whenever you go beyond what is explicit terms and what is intended, then they go on the extra mile. At that point in time, you build a certain surprise for the customer. 
Again, um, you know, we, we noticed from the last time that you were here that you had or you took a few more uh, bottles of water. So we actually put more bottles of water in your fridge. Now I'm trying to figure out, hello, how could that have happened? I was downstairs. It, I wasn't downstairs for more than 10, 15 minutes throughout the checking in process. But what had happened was immediately I came in, somebody checked, what did this man take from the fridge the last time he was here and the previous time he was here? Now, I drink a lot of water. So I took more bottles of water from the fridge. Because they don't drink it. So you know what they did? They put more bottles of water in the fridge than any other drink it from there. So, how could they do the extra mile is everything you do for the customer beyond what you ask for. The extra mile is everything you do for the customer beyond what he needs to be done and it's a must to do. And whenever you go to the extra mile, the customer is blown away. He's totally enthralled with you. His mind can't control it because he didn't ask for it. So in other sense, he thinks that he didn't pay for it. Because you know, he was ready to pay for what was not right. Now, this is the secret about, about extra money. Always look for low cost, high impact extra money. Okay? Low cost. Things that won't cost you more. And in some cases, they would actually make you more business. Like those guys put a bit more water in their fridge. I drank almost all the water there. Don't you understand? The point was they would actually sold more bottles of water because they had their stuff about it and put their water there. So my point is, think about the needs of your customer and then ask yourself, if I want to blow the mind of this customer, what must I do? What can I do that you haven't even asked for? Now, I want to tell you one very special customer that you have. You also deserve your son. It's called your boss. Your boss will tell you who is actually a customer. And by the way, you don't have to do this to a lot of time. The service that you do, the boss and you can you know, and I look for you and tell you whether you want to do what you do or not, you can tell you what you want, and you know, and you know, so really, the boss is a customer, they are accepted by the quality of the things that you deliver. Okay? Now, if you're not a customer, your boss is going to tell you to tell Every manager who's sitting out with his people, you know, slap your guys and tell them, hey, I'm, I'm, your, I'm your customer. I deserve the extra mile. I deserve the extra mile. Okay? Every business entrepreneur that is listening, tell your, your, your guys that work with you, I'm your customer. I deserve an extra mile, which means, listen to me, I always say this to people, make sure that you're always underpaid. That's the fastest way to grow. Hey, fella, what do you mean? Underpaid? Why should I be underpaid? No, what I mean is this. No matter how much they're paying you for, do more than what they're paying you for. If I were to ask you, um, if you've done your great job at the level of an officer, should you not be promoted to a manager? Yes, you would say. Well, I would say to you, no. You don't get promoted for doing a great job at the level that you were hired to do that job. You promised them you were going to do a great job anyway. So this is the point you've got to remember. When you want to become a manager as an officer, go the extra mile. That's where the, your manager's appointment is. That's where the promotion is. Go the extra money. And then start to do the things that will support your manager. Make your manager shine. Don't try to outshine your manager. Make your manager shine. Your manager is a wonderful customer, and so are the other people that also, you know, bless your business. And so the whole idea today is extra mile. Do more than what is required, and you will see an incredible amount of business come your way. This is your business doctor today. I hope you got something. I want you guys in, in, in your organization to ask yourselves, how can we go the extra mile? That's the question for you today. How can we go the extra mile? All right? Um, do that for your boss. Do that for your customers. And, you know, you will see the greatness. All right? It's a great day. I wish you a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Thank you.